warm and plentiful district. A place in the sun feeding the world with its abundant riches, glorious fresh fruit and produce, award-winning wines, swimming and biking, fantastic weather and fun in the sun. Hastings has an outstanding landscape, the triple peaks of Temata and the stunning Cape Kidnappers with its famous colony of gannets. Hastings is the heart for many of New Zealand's favourite sporting pursuits and attractions. The business and retail precinct is at the top of its game. At the helm, its innovative, hard-working community, a diverse global and Māori culture enriched our district. Our kete is now full to the brim. Come and bask in the bounty of the Hastings district, the heart of Hawke's Bay. The Holakoya brand is founded upon the life and the way of life in this part of the world. We want to create fragrances that reflect our lifestyle here and reflect who we are as people. It's important that the environment, the fragrances, the natural waxes and everything play together to create this one beautiful thing. Ultramox, the multi-worming solution for horses from Bayer. Ultramox is the only triple active wormer that contains moxidectin. Ultramox is effective against internal parasites of horses, but the addition of moxidectin means that it's also active against encysted cyathostomes. Ultramox was developed in New Zealand and is manufactured in New Zealand for New Zealand horses. Available from your local vet, equine specialty or farm supply store. Bayer, science for a better life. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the premier jumping arena here at the Latin Drover Horse of the Year show, where the scene is set for our next competition. We're now turning our attentions to the uh, discipline of eventing with the Land Rover CCI four-star eventing show jumping. The dressage phase was held here yesterday. Today is all about show jumping ahead of tomorrow's cross-country phase. We look forward to the action as we hand you over to your class commentator, David Nichols. Arena for the Land Rover CCI four star show jumping. Day two of the Eventers competition. Day three will be, of course, the cross country set to get underway around about one o'clock tomorrow afternoon here at Land Rover Horse of the Year. Wonderfully designed course by Chris Ross. If you get a chance at some stage in the next 24 hours, pop out and have a look and see this beautiful design course. It starts over in the polo grounds. They weave their way through the Tomona showgrounds. They come through Land Rover Premier Arena. They'll shoot through the Dressage Arena. They'll head out to the Waikoko Gardens and they'll finish here in Land Rover Premier Arena. And a great spectacle it is going to be at one o'clock tomorrow. 17 combinations competed in the dressage phase yesterday morning in Land Rover Premier Arena. And the overnight leader with a dressage score of 31.4 is Clark Johnstone aboard Balmoral Sensation. Aiming for Tokyo 2020 qualification is Clark aboard Balmoral Sensation. And he also has his other ride, Aces High, who is currently in fourth with a dressage score of 34.4. Last year's winner, Amanda Muzzy Pottinger, is in second after the dressage on Just Kidding. And they have a dressage score of 32.2. Third place at the moment after the dressage is young Madison Crow aboard Waitangi Pinterest. So 
$3,800 to the winner of the Land Rover CCI 4 Star. This is just the show jumping phase in this beautiful Vernet deck designed course. They've got 12 numbered fences to jump the treble down by the Land Rover Lounge. Is an interesting combination as they jump that as fences 10 A, B and C. Relatively nice course here in Land Rover Premier Arena. Fence one, the Baileys Oxer, just here underneath the grandstand. They then go to the red and grey Oxer. Fence three is the Land Rover Planks. They then go over to fence four, over the far side by the IRT Riders Marquee. Fences five to six, down to the Ultra Mox Liverpool. Fence seven is the Land Rover Vertical. Around to fence eight is the Wade Equine Upright. Just behind it is the Hot Spring Wellness Hub. If you get a chance, shoot over there and have a look at these wonderful Hot Springs bars. Jump on the Land Rover Facebook page because there is a competition to win a prize package involving a couple of hours in a Hot spring Spa and some wonderful hopped sodas. They come then to 9A, B and C on the side of Land Rover VIP Lounge is the treble. Fence 10 is the Catwalk Trust. They then turn to jump the News Talk ZB triple bar and then straight down to Fence 12. The final fence and the Land Rover CCI 4 star show jumping. 17 combinations to jump this. Couple of combinations heading off to Europe at the completion of Land Rover Horse of the Year. Overnight leaders Clark Johnstone aboard Balmoral Sensation. They will be the last out in the show jumping. First out will be Diane Gilder aboard your attorney. So here's our first combination into Land Rover Premier Arena. Diane Gilder aboard your attorney, Director of Southern Comfort Kennels in Auckland is Diane. She went over to Adelaide to jump the five star in October. Did Diane, and she rides the 15 year old Bay Gelder, thoroughbred stallion, sorry, thoroughbred by the thoroughbred stallion legal opinion out of the mere polar crown. Diane Gilder sits on a dressage score of 36.5, and they sit in sixth place going into day two. Land Rover, CCI four star.
So for Diane Gilder and your attorney, they'll finish on eight penalties. That'll get added to their 36.5. And they will go to a 44.5 for your attorney and Diane Gilder. Catherine Taylor from Palmerston North. Studying English and History at Massey University. She rides at Kitty Roa Lara. They have a dressage score of Well, an unfortunate elimination there for Catherine and Kitty Roa Lara, two refusals. And that will mean elimination. So, unfortunate way to finish Land Rover CCI four star for Catherine Taylor and Kitty Roa Lara. We welcome back a very familiar face to Land Rover Horse of the Year, Donna Edwards Smith. And Donna is aboard DSE Rodriguez. They sit in 14th place after the dressage with a dressage of 43.7. 11 year old Grey Gelding by the Thoroughbred Stallion Columbia and owned by Donna and Elise Edwards, Leslie and David Going, and the Soho 13 team. DSE Rodriguez for Donna Edwards Smith. Eighty-seven nine-three is the clock time, so inside the time allowed of 92 seconds. But it is two rails down and eight faults for Donna Edwards-Smith aboard DSE Rodriguez. That'll add to their 43.7. And by my math, she will now have a two-day score of 51.7. Unofficial, of course, until the completion of this class. We welcome now from Cambridge, Bundy Philpott. 
a former young rider of the year in the show jumping aboard a wonderful little horse, Little Milt, is Bundy from Cambridge. A full-time rider is Bundy Philpot. So he's a rider's rep on the New Zealand Aventus board. And she rides Tresca NZPH by the stallion Fugo du Palais out of Paradise NZPH. They have a dressage score of 35.4 and that left them in fifth place overnight. Oh, a great ride, Bundy Philpot inside the time allowed. She's all clear. She'll have nothing to add to her 35.4. She is only one penalty behind fourth place. So she finishes on her dressage score after two rounds of competition. The dressage phase yesterday, and we just saw a wonderful clear round. Bundy Philpot aboard Tresca NZPH. So the young gentleman in the arena tips his hat to acknowledge the judges and starts his round on aces high. Clark Johnstone, originally from the South Island, now lives in Martangi in the Waikato, rides the thoroughbred gelding aces high. They sit in fourth place, a dressage score of 34.4, a three point behind the overnight leader, which is Clark on his Rio Mount Balmoral sensation. Well, it was just one rail down for Aces High and Clark Johnstone at the Yellow Planks. They now go to a 38.4 two-day total, and at this stage, they will slot into second place. Unofficial, of course, until the completion of this round and signed off by the ground jury. But at this stage, Clark will drop one placing and slot into second. 12 combinations left to go. We welcome now Beth Wilson from Papakura. Her riding instructor is Beth. She sits on a dressage score of 40.6. There's only nine penalties behind the overnight leader, which was Clark aboard Balmoral Sensation. And Beth graduated from AUT with a degree in paramedic science. Rides Alto at Adu. 10-year-old Irish sport horse by Northwood Jetstream.
Well, just the one rail down there for Beth, also taking the yellow planks down. And Beth Wilson and Alto at R2. They will finish with four jumping penalties. Add that to their 40.6 dressage. And they will have a two-day score of 44.6. A young lady based in Hamilton, originally from Ashburn, a little town called Rakaia. Welcome, Monica Oakley. She is aboard. No, sorry, this is Madison Crow, aboard Waitangi Pinterest. <coughs> also originally from the South Island, now based out of Martangi, and heading to Europe at the end of March is Madison with her eyes on a European campaign. A third after the dressage with a dressage score of Well, it's just one down at the Bailey's Oxer for Madison Crow and Waitangi Pinterest. They will go to 36.8 of their two-day total. 36.8, and that will slot her at this stage into second place behind Bundy's 35.4. A young lady from Manukau, near Levin, as Abigail Long rides Belmont Holy Smoke. An 11 year old thoroughbred chestnut gelding by the stallion Feltat. Bred in the Waikato at Grange Williams Stud. A dressage score of 40.5 left them in 10th place. Abigail Long aboard Belmont Holy Smoke. Well, it's two rails down for Abigail and Belmont. Holy smoke. So eight faults will be added to the dressage score of 40.5. They will have a two-day total of 48.5. Abigail Long and Belmont. Holy smoke. So they'll slot into sixth place at this stage after their two rounds. We now go to a young lady who has moved to the Hawks Bay, originally from Auckland. Kristen Lane rides a Thundercat. 12 year old chestnut gelding by Littorio. They had a dressage score of 40.0 and left them in ninth place. Land Rover CCI 4 star. The show jumping phase of the three day event. Cross country is set to get underway about 1 o'clock tomorrow.
Well, it's eight jump faults, and unfortunately, outside the time allowed of 92 seconds, Kristen's time of 92.83 will incur 0.4 of a time fault. So they will have a jumping score of 8.4. We'll add that to their dressage, and they'll finish with a two-day score of 48.4 for Kristen and Thundercat. It slots them into sixth place at this stage after the completion of their two days of this three-day competition. So now we go to Monica Oakley, and she rides Acrobat by the stallion Eurosport Centavos. Nine-year-old black gelding Acrobat for Monica Oakley. They sat in seventh place after the dressage, the dressage score of 37.3. Should they go clear, they'll be able to slot up to third. With eight combinations left to go. Oh, a little bit of acrobats at the Ultramox Oxer for Acrobat and Monica Oakley. She stayed on, she jumps clear, and it is nothing to add. So 37.3 is the two-day total, and they will jump up to third place at the moment after their two rounds of a competition. Monica Oakley aboard Acrobat. So seven left to go. Land Rover CCI Four Star. The show jumping phase of the three day competition. They dressage out here yesterday morning. Show jumping phase here now. We welcome Arctic Cello for Elise Power, 13 year old Grey Clydesdale Cross Gelding. They had a dressage score of 47.6. Well, it's eight rails down for 32 faults for Elise and Arctic Cello. Land Rover CCI four star show jumping. Just wait for fence two to be put up, please. Erin, fence two. Fence two, ladies.
enjoying the hospitality of Land Rover too much, Fenella. So we get fence two repaired. Rail goes back up and we're ready to go again. Land Rover CCI four star show jumping. So we now go to Shannon Galloway. Shannon rides Day Walker, 12 year old ground gelding by Anateos Plus. From Hamilton is Shannon. They have a dressage score of 38.9, and that left them in eighth place after the dressage, with six combinations left to go. In the show dimming phase, Land Rover CCI four star. Two rails down for eight jump faults and 0.73 over the time allowed. So she will incur a quarter of a time fault. Well, Shannon and Day Walker. 8.4. That'll give them a two day score of 47.3. 47.3. And they will move up to seventh place at this stage. But we do have. Five combinations left to go. The first of those is Kyle Calder. And Kyle is aboard Apteryx. 11-year-old Clydesdale thoroughbred cross by the stallion Trojan horse. And Kyle sits on a dressage score of 42.6. So a tip of the hat and an elective retirement there for Kyle Calder and App Terex. So they have retired from Land Rover CCI four star. Show dumping phase here in Land Rover Premier Arena. Land Rover Horse of the Year 2020. Day two of the three day competition for these eventing combinations. We go now to last year's winner, the Land Rover CCI four star, won last year by Amanda Muzzy Pottinger. They sit in second place after the dressage and their score of 32.2. Little bit of a discrepancy in the judges, the three 
Independent dressage judges had her placed first, second and third after the dressage. But the average gave her a percent of 67.85, leaving her with a 32.2 penalties. Well, it's one rail down at the start of the treble for Amanda. And just kidding, they will have four penalties added to their 32.2 dressage score. And they will go to 36.2. They will slot into second place at this stage with Bundy Philpott still holding the lead on 35.4 after their two rounds of competition. But we do have the overnight leader still to go. We welcome now Abby Thompson from Tikawata is Abby. And she rides rockin' it by the thoroughbred stallion traditionally. Dressage score of 42.6 for rockin' it and Abby Thompson. Twelve jump faults for Abby and Rockin' It inside the inside the time, their time of 81.62, time allowed of 92 seconds. So it's just 12 faults to add to their dressage score, and they'll finish with a two-day total of 54.6, and that at this stage will slot them into 12th place. Abby Thompson aboard Rockin' It. Two combinations left to go in the show jumping phase. Land Rover CCI four star and two very accomplished riders. The first of those is Donna Edwards Smith. We welcome her back for her second ride. And this time she is aboard DSE Mendoza. DSE, the abbreviation for Donna Smith Eventing. DSE Mendoza. An 11 year old thoroughbred gelding by the stallion Skeety Cat. They have a 53.5 dressage score.
Well, it's just one rail down for Donna and DSE Mendoza. So four faults will add to their 53.5, and they will have a two-day total of 57.5, and that'll move them up to 13th at this stage in the Land Rover CCI four-star. We welcome back Clark Johnstone, best placed Kiwi in Rio 2016. This combination right here in front of you, Balmoral Sensation and Clark Johnstone. They finished sixth at Rio 2016. They are the overnight leaders with a dressage score of 31.4. They need to jump clear to stay into the lead, going into tomorrow's cross country because Bundy Award Tresca holds the lead at the moment on 35.4. Belmoral Sensation, 16-year-old Grey Gelding by Senator VDL. Started off by the great David Gooden. Ridden also by Donna Edwards Smith. And taken to Rio by Clark in 2016. Well, it's just one rail down at fence 11 for Clark aboard Balmoral Sensation. It'll add to his 31.4 dressage score, and he will go to 35.4. And at this stage, by my reckoning, it'll put him in to first equal with Bundy Philpot, both on 35.4 going into tomorrow's cross-country phase, set to get underway at 1 o'clock. So like I say, if you get a chance to shoot around and have a look at the beautiful Chris Ross designed cross country course, it is ready. Just be very careful. There are horses galloping around everywhere, and horses have right of way here at Land Rover Horse of the Year. But that will bring to completion the show dumbing phase of the Land Rover CCI four star. And we will be getting underway with the seven-year-old Hawks of the Year. Very shortly, they'll reset the track and get underway with the seven-year-old Land Rover Horse of the Year. Set to get underway at 11.50, 10 to 12. Ready to go for the seven-year-old Horse of the Year. fragrances that reflect our lifestyle here and reflect who we are as people. It's important that the environment, the fragrances, the natural waxes and everything play together to create this one beautiful thing. Hastings is a warm and plentiful district 
a place in the sun feeding the world with its abundant riches, glorious fresh fruit and produce, award-winning wines, swimming and biking, fantastic weather and fun in the sun. Hastings has an outstanding landscape, the triple peaks of Temata and the stunning Cape Kidnappers with its famous colony of gannets. Hastings is the heart for many of New Zealand's favourite sporting pursuits and attractions. The business and retail precinct is at the top of its game. At the helm, its innovative, hard-working community. A diverse global and Māori culture enrich our district. Our kete is now full to the brim. Come and bask in the bounty of the Hastings district, the heart of Hawke's Bay.